Okay, this is going to be our first lecture on section 7.3, Powers of Polynomials and Products of Binomial Conjugates. So we basically have two topics to cover, uh, squaring a binomial and then the multiplying of conjugates. So squaring a binomial, if we have some a plus some b or a minus some b, what we're going to do is we're going to take the first term here, the a, and we're going to square it. Then we're going to multiply the two terms, a times b, and multiply them times 2, and that gives us our middle term. And then our last term, our b, we'll square it, and that'll give us our last term. The only difference of when we have an a plus a b squared versus an a minus a b squared is the middle signs term will, or the middle term's sign will follow what we see here in the middle of the binomial. So when we have a plus b quantity squared, the middle term will be positive. When we have a minus b quantity squared, the middle term will be negative. And of course, when we have um, when we have the um, when we have the um, last terms here, we see that those are always positive. So those are what we're looking at in terms of patterns. And this is going to be done through pattern recognition. Now when we multiply the sum and the difference of two terms, that's called multiplying conjugates. So you see an a plus a b times an a minus a b. What happens is we get the square of the first term minus the square of the second term. And in this, the reason that we have an a square of the first term minus the square of the second term is because if we do the FOIL method, the first ones and then the outsides and then the insides and then the last, our outside and our inside terms, which are the ones that we add together, those are going to be exactly the same um, value. And so one's going to be a positive and one's going to be a negative, so they add to zero. So we don't end up with a middle term whatsoever. So now we just have a bunch of problems here to do that are um, taking into account either being the sum of two square or the product of two uh, a binomial or excuse me a binomial squared or the product of conjugates so our part a um, we have a 2x minus 4 times a 2x plus 4. So the first thing we want to do is recognize that that is a product of conjugates. So in order to do a product of conjugates, what we're going to do is we're going to take the first term, the 2x, and we're going to be squaring that. And then from that, we're going to subtract, and we're going to take the second term, and we're going to square it. Now, one of the things we have to be careful of is that when we square a number times a variable that we square both the number and the variable. So 2 squared, which is going to give us 4, x squared, which is x squared, minus 4 squared, which is 16. And so that will be our product. And this is something special called the difference of two perfect squares. We'll see that come up again. All right, the next one, we see we have a binomial squared. And then from there, we're going to end up with our um, our answer. Okay, so when we square a binomial, we're going to get a trinomial, and we're going to take our first term, which is a negative 2a, and we're going to square it. And then we're going to add, and then we're going to have the first term, a negative 2a, times our second term, a b, and then we're going to multiply that by 2 and then plus, and then we have our second term, which is simply a b, and we're going to square that. And now we're going to see when we square a negative, we get a positive. When we square 2, we get 4. When we square a, we get a squared. When we uh, multiply these out, negative times a positive is a negative. 2 times 2, which is 4, and a times b. And then plus a b squared. And so that gives us our trinomial. Now we can look at this problem in a different light. Let me take a look at this one in terms of what if this actually said instead b minus 2a quantity squared. And what you see in this case is the difference of two terms being squared. So we square the first term, b squared. We multiply this one times this one times 2, so b times 2a times 2, which is 4a. And the middle term is going to be negative, so that's negative 4ab. And then plus the last one squared, 2 squared is 4, and a squared is a squared. And you see we get the exact same answer. It's just written backwards. And then we could reorder it to make it look like that, but it would be the same answer. And we'll leave part C for our next video.